The documentary is out now, focusing on the Clotilda, the last known slave ship that historians say arrived in the United States more than a century ago. The film shows descendants of slaves aboard the ship revisiting Africa. Fox sends Anaya Spragues talked to the executive producer, who says the experience was eye-opening and emotional. National Geographic has produced another film about the Clotilda, the last known slave ship that historians say arrived in Mobile more than a century ago. Clotilda, the return home, tells the story of descendants of Cudjo Lewis and Gumpa Lee, two survivors of the Clotilda. The film follows the descendants as they fulfill their ancestors' lifelong dream of returning to Africa. This particular generation, five generations in, uh, they decided to fulfill his lifelong wish by taking soil from his memorial and taking the reverse journey back from Mobile to his village in West Africa and bury him uh, ceremoniously there. The descendants traveled to Benin, West Africa, visiting sacred places like the Tree of Remembrance used as a way for slaves to remember their roots and the Slave Route Trail. The embrace and the love that we got from them just from getting off the plane, you know, was far more uh, genuine, I would say, and, and special than, than my life here in the United States. It was very, very real and very, very emotional. Lots and lots and lots of tears throughout all of those days. Executive producer Ray Dodge II says he learned that he was named after Cudjo Lewis. I called my father and asked, where does our middle name come from? Because I am Ray Dodge II. And he explained that not knowing at the time what I was working on, he explained uh, that my grandmother had saw the name and, and named him, and thus me, after this uh, enslaved man who had come into Mobile and was connected to the Clotilda. And so I was like, oh my God, I'm working on that right now. You know, I'm, I'm doing, I'm featuring him right now. And so it was great to learn that fact about myself. Dodge says he hopes the documentary will resonate with viewers. Anaya Sprags, Fox 10 News. And that film can be streamed on Hulu, Disney Plus, and National Geographic.